Okay. So I reckon maybe we do like a whole bunch of strikes, clear that first set of strikes, and then maybe do a little bit of uh, upgrade. Do you want to give it a go? Because it's um, yeah. it's a pretty cool little mechanic. So All right. Um, completed. <coughs> not bad. Oh, I thought it was a little bit better than not bad. Jumping in. So now we just finished our first strike. What mission um, are you on? This is, this will be mission two, I suppose. Um, it was a little bit interesting because apparently you have your city, and there are monsters roaming around in the land. Yeah. And the monster wasn't actually attacking us. We lured the monster in huh. to attack. So it's like, hey come over and try to blow up our buildings and then we'll shoot you. It's a bit mean. Uh, seems a little bit crazy to me. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, I need to recruit someone else. Is the whole world ravaged by these monsters then? Uh, yes, basically. Is this the only city? No, I think there are more. Um, but they are all structured kind of like this? Is yes, it seems like kind of like an Attack on Titan type situation. Where you're all in, in this uh, city. Less uh, grim. <laughs> there's there's big ass monsters around. And you can't really leave the city. Oh, you got a call. Is that another waifu? Oh, Chandler. That's not a waifu. That looked like a waifu to me. That's terrible. Chandler can be a female name. I'm just thinking about friends now. Yeah, haven't you seen Friends? Chandler's is a. It's the top male. waifu. Sound <laughs> <laughs> stations on X. R and D officer. All right, cool. Ace Chandler. So what's happening? Uh, well, we uh, finished the strike and then we got some things we can research, I guess. And now um, we're being assigned R &D. an R&D officer. That'll kind do of like Mother us. Base in uh, Metal Gear. Is Similar Metal Gear? thing, I suppose. So you've earned points and now you can spend them. Which is the Dr. Chandler. Residence requests. Oh, sounds like admin work to me. One dandelion. I wonder how quickly we'll be introduced to everyone. Whether they'll just clock through them right away or if there'll be some later game ones. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be, be an annoying board. Bard? Yes. Dandelion. Oh. Okay, from The Witcher. Yes. <laughs> it went pretty well. If I do say so myself.
Where are the residents coming from? Hmm. I of the know. cities that are less well protected, I guess? You think so? It's very political. No. Very topical. Yeah, we should just build a wall. <laughs> well, isn't there a wall? Is there? Uh, yeah, it might be. Casualties, okay, so it's kind of maybe a bad idea to put, um... Okay, what's this? Tax revenues. Processing plans. I need these. I need a few of these. Uh, okay, what happens? Is there any Does reason you don't want them all to be alumni? Because you need the crystals as well to build certain buildings. Oh. Like, for example, I can build like a recreation park, but I need five yellow crystals to do it. So you kind of have to balance what you uh, spend. So you could like neglect housing and stuff and just yeah. put all of your yellow into the alumni all the time. Yes. Okay. okay so, okay, and that's my like alumni plant. It's dangerous want. on the edge there, isn't it? Sure, come on in. Now putting an awful lot of pressure on me to not screw things up next time. City. Excellent. We finished processing all the new residents. The dandelion's going to be leaving again soon. Right, so now I have 43 people in my city. Um, I'm not sure where I see how many people my city can support at one time. Born in Oslo? Okay. Can you get behind this? So I guess that's my new favorite waifu. <laughs> Hello, Wait, what's the city called? Kimberly. Why is it called Kimberly? Did you name it? No, it's just called Kimberly. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Got a new missile launcher. Oh, I'm down for that. Three missiles. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so this is uh, like our main menu. So you can go to map, then you can like select things. So you like selecting a new mission now? Uh, yes, and um, uh, here's uh, your team. So, like, they have focus and energy, and apparently they can get tired, I guess? And then you need to like change them up. I put them out of the team, give so them a few you're missing days off. So you two slots you can't fill yet. Yeah. So let's just go to R&D. Okay, let's... Fortify armor? Hmm. Let's just fill our missile. Can they go into any slots or do they have their specialisms? Um, I'm not sure. I think you can just put it anywhere. Right, awesome. Okay, build. Why do I even need approval from Alan Hmm? It stifles my creativity. 
from Allied Command. Oh, we're caught up in red tape and we can't get some some better armor. That's the worst. Like actually the worst. Okay. Uh, okay, then we're back in our city. So, for example, um, these are my cannons. So, is this mission based or? Yeah. Um. Let's just build. A missile here, I guess? What does the missile do? Far reaching weapon. Okay. Uh, the way I see it is like my outer ring space here is gonna be um, like my main offensive weapon that I use. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to build a cannon. Shit. Um, but <coughs> fortunately, I can move it. After I built it. Oh, so, that's quite handy. Um, you don't always get that luxury in these kind of games. I guess I'll put it here. So did you uh, did you do the strike? No, I'm, I, I've been doing like red tape and, and admin stuff. So we did some R&D, and now okay. I can build missiles. They're like slower, long range attacks. Nice. So for this ring, I'm building like two missiles next to our cannon. So it'll be like the first line of defense. Okay. So it's what we aim at people, at the monsters when they're far away, I guess. Okay. And then uh, building... I built a thing, but now I don't have enough money to build the missile that I was supposed to build. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, it doesn't have as much attack as the cannon does, though. It just has way more range. It has almost twice the range of the cannon. Whoa, okay. I did find, um, when I was playing through the Japanese one, I got to a stage where I was doing a strike and I, I, I couldn't physically hit any of the enemies because obviously mm. I hadn't, I didn't understand what the what the processes were. Yeah. So I think you do have to kind of really um, spread out the kinds of things that you, that you have. Mm. Yeah, right now I, I've uh, kind of like focused on, I suppose, Strong directional attacks. Okay. Because I think the 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 thing that I found really interesting about the mechanics of this is 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 how like the how you have to like mentally set yourself up for it. So let's yeah. say you you maybe maybe you want to go right. I'm gonna have all my cannons on one ring, and I'm gonna have all my missiles on another ring. Or maybe you want to do it so that one ring is your long range, another ring is your close range. Yeah. Um, but also because you can obviously you can spread it all out. Do you have like um, cannons at three points so that you've always got to spread. Yeah. Um, so how you kind of divide up that city space, I think, is going to be really like interesting way. Because I guess like one guy is gonna is gonna have a very different set for another guy, and um, in terms of how they're gonna set the city up, is there a right or wrong answer? Um, is it like mm. an optimum one, or is it actually a case of you can express yourself a little bit more in terms of how you position stuff? Yeah. I think only doors. I'd want to be very much a kind of all my eggs in one basket in one direction, yeah. and trying to be like quick to switch them around. Yeah, I think eventually I would probably have like at least one cannon that covers my back, and then um, so I could shoot in two directions at the same time. Yeah. Because actually, the cannons, like, operate their spread in maybe like two or three boxes apart. Yeah. I wonder if you've got any weapons that only focus on really one straight Just direction like, and yeah. like, like mega powerful, like a beam weapon or something. It might very well be. And it was revealed to me that Chisa, the the blonde girl, she's from Oslo, so she's my new she's favorite. She's a kin. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, that's cool. She's a kin. Is that her there? Yeah. yeah. Did we find out where Toe is from? Uh, no, she didn't say. Any Welsh, any Welsh waifus <laughs> in this game? I'm guessing, I'm guessing there is no provision for a Welsh waifu. I've not seen any gingers yet. Gingers? I I always <laughs> just assumed that all the Welsh, <coughs> all Wel Welsh people were gingers. That's they? that is 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 this the perception in Norway that everybody from from Wales is? Uh... And <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I've been told. That's what I hear. Okay, that's, uh, okay, I think we've already done... Uh, Let's do some more of these guys. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah. Okay, so you've really beefed up the front line. Yeah. And then you've got like one additional cannon for like... Okay, so two on one. Whoa. Interesting. So you see the emergency flashing at 12 o'clock? Mm. You can, that's tell you where they're going to come from. So, um, whoa, you've got a big, whoa, that's a big ass spread on there. Whoa, okay. Look at that. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident now. Look at that. I'm pretty Beautiful. confident, but I can't Whoa, okay. This. So yeah, I'm covering all yeah, of Yeah, those missiles don't seem to be hitting now. Cause now that they're... So once they're beyond that boundary, I don't think the missiles are very effective. Big spread, though. Point my can this. Oh, we got something coming that way as well. I can turn. Right. So what's that temporary thing for? Maybe you can just, like, erect barriers and stuff on it, maybe. Yeah. Point you this way, and you this way. Whoa. Well, we got two flashing emergencies at. Uh... Okay. Hmm, that didn't seem so hard actually. Was One that try. your was that your first was that your first strike? Yeah. Yeah. If you, if nice. you like my my uh, frontal assaults were powered up. Chisa seemed pretty impressed by your by your Nordic strategy. Mm, yeah. That's what happens because when you hit I level two. That's, <laughs> That's what happens when you hit level two. Excellent, thank you. Happiness up to fifty six. Cheers. Okay. Oh, you're going for Chisa. You're going to level Chisa up, aren't you? I am. Yeah. Blatant favorite. <laughs> I know. I remember where, where this guy was from. He he was in Tales of the Abyss. That's where I've been hearing his his voice from. Is it? Yeah. I'm absolutely certain. Fine, I won't. Okay. So you get uh, ten tick tick defeat ten times tick tick. 